One of the two pre-war Pacific League clubs, the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks were founded as the Nankai Baseball Club in March of 1938. Nankai chairman Jinkichi Terada was initially reluctant to form a team, but after seeing rival railway companies Hankyu and Hanshin set up teams and have them be successful, he was convinced to do the same. The JPBL was initially very reluctant to let the new Nankai Baseball Club join their ranks, Adding another team would bring the grand total up to 9, and that would be hell to schedule, and there was also a concern that the team wouldn't be good enough. By now, every other team had some experience under their belt, and this new team would be extremely green. Therefore, it was agreed that Nankai would only be admitted during the fall season, giving the schedulers time to figure it out, and giving the team time enough to prepare so they wouldn't be truly awful. The team would start out at Sakai Ohama Stadium from 1938, but moved into Nakamozu Stadium for the 1939 season. That same year, they signed a 23-year-old first baseman named Kazuto Sirooka. Sirooka would lead the JPBL with 10 home runs, in an age where the average batter only hit 2. To put that home run power in perspective, that would be the equivalent of someone hitting 69 homers in today's NPB. Nice. Sirooka would be drafted in 1940, but Nankai didn't want to see their new golden boy sent off to the meat grinder that was the Second World War so they used their influence to get him assigned to an anti-aircraft unit in the port city of Kagoshima to keep him out of danger. During the war, the team signed a kid named Akira Besho straight out of high school, and he would throw the team's first no-hitter against the Yamato Baseball Club in 1943. In 1944, wartime austerity measures forced Nankai to merge with Kinki Nippon Railways, and the team became known as the Kinki Nippon Club. Kinki is another name for Kansai, get your mind out of the gutter. The team would get ahead of the nickname curve when the JPBL restarted in 1946, calling themselves Kinky Great Ring. Great Ring was a direct translation of the ancient name for Japan, Yamato. The philosophy, as I see it, was to create a team name kind of like the New York Yankees or Montreal Canadiens. During this time, the team would split their home games between Koshen and Fujidera Stadium while they waited for their new stadium to be completed. Sudaoka would also return to the team, and despite six years out of the league, he would immediately win JPBL MVP as the Great Ring won their first JPBL title. As a result of the nickname, the team became very popular with American soldiers stationed in Osaka, because they thought the name was hilarious. So despite winning that JPBL title in 1946, when Nankai broke back off from Kinki Nippon Railways in 1947, they decided to change the team's name. Nankai's company logo features a winged wheel, so they wanted some sort of bird. The three names that made the final cut were Condors, Cardinals, and Hawks. Condors was ruled out because the Nankai representative who supervised the team was bald and very self-conscious about it. Cardinals was ruled out because the team wanted to keep their colors, so eventually they settled on Nankai Hawks. To christen the new name, the team took home their second JPBL title in 1948, with Suraoka again being named MVP. At the end of the season, Akira Besho demanded to be traded to the Yamayuri Giants. This was for two reasons. The first was because he'd just married a girl from Tokyo and wanted to stay there, and the second was he'd felt disrespected by the club. Despite clearly being the team's best pitcher, he wasn't treated as such, and he felt that he, not Sudaoka, should have been named MVP in 1948. He got his wish. He'd also changed his name to Takahiko on the recommendation of a priest in Chiba. The Hawks would move into the newly built Osaka Stadium midway through the 1950 season, and would take home their first PL pennant in 1951, the first of what would be three in a row on the backs of a core that consisted of Kazuo Kakeyama, Tokuji Aida, Isami Okamoto, and Chusuke Kizuka, coupled with ace pitcher Susumu Yuki. In all three Japan Series matchups, they would meet Takehiko Besho and the Yamiuri Giants and get beaten convincingly. After Aida became the first hawk to hit for the cycle against the Tombo Unions in 1955, they'd lose with the Giants again in the Japan Series. And then they lost their consolation prize as the best team in the Pacific League when the Nishitetsu Lions rattled off three straight championships over the Giants. Eager to get their revenge, the Hawks rebounded with sophomore ace Tadashi Sugiura and power hitting catcher Katsuya Nomura and swept the Giants in convincing fashion in 1959. Pitcher John Sardinha, the first player on the Hawks who wasn't of Japanese descent, would become the first player not of Japanese descent to win a Japan Series ring. In 1960, they would sign Joe Stanka away from the White Sox system on the direct advice of Chai Sox owner Bill Vack. He would immediately become the Hawks' number two starter behind Sugiura. After the Giants got their revenge in 1961, 
Katsuya Nomura would become the first player since 1950 to hit over 50 home runs, breaking Makoto Kozuru's single season record by hitting 52 in 1962. The Hawks would win their second Japan series in 1964 over the Hanshin Tigers. Joe Stanko would become the first American to win PL MVP, and the second American to win Japan Series MVP. Then, well, the rise of the V9 and the Honky Braves left the Hawks in a perpetual state of good, but not good enough. After 1966, they wouldn't win another pennant for over 30 years. Thanks to the PL adopting an odd playoff system in the 70s, they would make the Japan Series in 1973, only to become the last victim of the V9 and in 1977, it all fell apart. By now, Katsuya Nomura had been player manager for most of the last decade, but his reputation had gone down the toilet thanks to his second wife, Sachio. Sachio, a model and hostess, had had two kids with her first husband, an American soldier named Alvin Engel. She then left him for Nomura in 1970. Nomura also left his wife for her while she was actively dying of cancer. Sachi was widely seen as a stuck-up gold digger, who was drawn to Nomura both for his celebrity and the fact that he flaunted his wealth. She would eventually get so entrenched in his life and even into his decision-making as manager that by 1977, the players were absolutely sick of her. In particular, was Nomura's old protege, Hiromitsu Karota. He hated Sachio and she hated him, so much so that she tried to manipulate Nomura to get him released. When Nomura floated the idea to management, they went, are you f***ing crazy? and would eventually give him an ultimatum, get rid of Sachio or leave. He chose the latter, and would be traded to the Lotte Orions. As a result, Nomura, most likely on Sachio's orders, would refuse to have anything to do with the Hawks until 2013, and the family withheld any and all pieces of memorabilia from his career from the Hawks until both he and Sachio died. Without the face of their franchise, and after a decade of slipping further and further into futility, in 1988 Nankai sold the team to supermarket chain Daiei. This is a different Daiei to the Daiei Stars Daiei, just so we're clear. Since NPB hadn't had a team in Fukuoka for nearly a decade after Cebu had bought and moved the Lions, the Hawks were moved there for 1989, and the team would be rebranded as the Fukuoka Daiei Hawks and would play their games at the Lions' old home of Hyodai Stadium. I, of course, can't mention this era of the Hawks without mentioning these goofy helmets. About the only other thing that made them relevant at this point was re-signing an aging Hiromitsu Kadota, lucking into trading for a pissed off Greg Boomer Wells, and having Goose Gossage play for them in 1990. His 2008 election to the Hall of Fame made him the second MPB alumni in Cooperstown. In 1993, the Hawks moved into the freshly built Fukuoka Dome. Up until 2023, they had the only retractable roof stadium in NPB, but the roof in the Fukuoka Dome remains closed 99% of the time because it was extremely inefficiently designed in order to be unique. To the point where it costs about $10,000 to open and close it, 2,000 of which goes towards the electricity alone. By contrast, it costs the Toronto Blue Jays about 100 bucks to open the Sky Dome's roof, only $10 of which goes towards electricity. The Sky Dome was completed before the Fukuoka Dome was even laid down. Yeah. Then, in 1994, with many members of the Lions dynasty reaching free agency, Daiei went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the richest man in Japan to pride Koji Akiyama, Hiromichi Ishige, and Kimiyasu Kudo away from them. And in 1995, Sadaharu O took over. After having his stint as Giants manager bookended by titles, and watching Motoshi Fujita get all the credit for his hard work, the man who spent 20 years crushing the Hawks' dreams was suddenly in charge. Under him, the Hawks got to building. They picked up guys like Nobuhiko Matsunaga, Kenji Dojima, Kazumi Saito, and Tadahito Iguchi in the draft, and it would all pay off when they ended their 35-year title drought in 1999. After getting beaten by his old teammate and rival Shigeru Nagashima in 2000, the Hawks added even more depth. Munonori Kawasaki, Toshiya Sugiuchi, Pedro Valdez, and Julio Zuleta got them back over the hump to win another title in 2003. But all this costs money, and by 2004, Daiei didn't have it anymore. After they filed for bankruptcy, Chiba Marines owners Lotte shopped around the idea of buying the Hawks and merging them with the Marines. But after a different merger caused a player strike, with fans overwhelmingly in the players' camp, as well as Yamiuri floating around the idea of joining the PL if it happened, NPB completely shot down this motion, 
Dae would end up selling the team to tech investment group SoftBank, who would rebrand them as the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks in 2005. After losing a good amount of talent early on, with Kenji Jojima and Tadahito Iguchi jumping over to MLB, SoftBank had to retool. They still had O at the helm, but the core needed to be reshuffled, and O knew his managerial style was getting stale, so he moved to the front office. The Hawks of the 2010s became a well-oiled machine. With Yuki Yanagita, Tsuyoshi Wada, and Nobuhiro Matsuda at the helm, later to be joined by Kodai Senga and Dennis Sarfate, the Hawks would win Japan Series Championships in 2011, 2014, 2015, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. In that time, they beat every single Central League club, as well as swatting down a challenge from the Saitama Seibu Lions. Even after missing the playoffs, the team roared back to pennant contenders all the way up to the last day of the 2022 season, where they choked, and then proceeded to make the PLCS, only to lose their first PLCS since 2010 against the Buffaloes. With NPB's deepest farm system, most sabermetrically inclined front office, and the guy who is essentially NPB's Mike Trout leading the way, the Hawks looked to remain dangerous for years to come. 